Hi everyone, welcome back to our new session of the UI path In this session, I will explain you how to create ticket, update ticket, get ticket list, and delete the ticket from Gendesk account automatically using UI path So, before starting with this, we will need to have three prerequisites for this activity. First, we will need Gendesk account. If you have not created your Gendesk account, first create that. Then, we will need to install uapartteam.gendesk activity package for listing these activities in our activities panel. And finally, third component we will need to have valid connection detail. So, if you are looking to have integration or valid connection detail inside your UAPath, please watch my previous session of how to integrate or UAPath integration with Gendesk. I will also mention the link in my description chat so that you can or you are able to establish a valid connection with UAPath and Gendesk account. And finally, let's start with how to create the component in detail. So, if you want to add any ticket inside the Gendesk, we have to use add Gendesk activity. As you can see here, inside my account, I am only having only two tickets are available here. Let me create the third ticket as well. Let me delete this one. And drag and drop new add ticket activity. For adding any ticket, we just have to configure some parameters. So if you want to use it and it get mandatory parameter, so there is one mandatory parameter that is requester ID. Then we have to add several other components like subject name, which describe the ticket title. Then description, if you want to add some priority, you can also do that. Then you can also add some other parameters as well, like created, add, create, update, type, subject, we have already used raw subject, prior status, that is open or closed. So, these components you can add it but right now i am using these four components and let's enter the detail so as my id or gender's id is 1359 so i am adding here so you can also do that or enter any id which you remember or which from which id you want to create it so subject here i want to enter here this is test ticket description inside the description I want to mention here this is test ticket created automatically using UI path and finally we have to enter priority so I am keeping here as a priority 3 and let's run this command so once you will run this command you will get a ticket id copy this ticket id and check the detail in your Gendesk login Now you can see third ticket is available. Let's see the detail which we have entered is right or not. So title or subject name is this is stage ticket which we have entered. Inside the description, this is a ticket created automatically using UI path. So this is our description and the ID which is my ID created by default. So as you can see here priority, 
it is available let's me go to the ticket and inside the priority it's showing not here it's showing zero you can also use this let me check the priority detail from the components in this component let's see how we can define okay so it's a string variable so we have to enter the string value not the digit so let me enter here hi and run the command let's refresh this page you can see here this is a ticket for and priority is not updated here uh, let's so we will update for further for update section so let me reword this command by clicking on reword and see how the result looks so i have reverted ticket number 3 let's check it is reverted or not so once we will click on the reverted ticket whatever ticket we have logged same ticket will be reverted and no more available for the user so by incidentally or by incident if you reach any ticket you can revert it according to your requirement fourth ticket i will need that and i will the ticket list or the get ticket list from our account there are several other fields are also available like uh, out of id id string external id but i just want to extract the id and the name or you can see the subject so that we can differentiate and once we'll run the command we able to see 1 2 and 4 that's only four ticket is available inside the system and we can use it so by this way we can extract the ticket detail from our account let's update some of the tickets here we'll just drag and drop some detail or just update subject first let me enter this is updated subject and run the command now you are able to see subject detail is updated successfully so let's check inside our account this is updated subject is updated here so by this way we can perform update activity as well so if we want to delete any ticket at any of point of time just have to select the ticket detail one ticket multiple ticket or the several other options i just want to delete one ticket and we need to provide the ticket id as well if you want to comment out these other activity you can comment out save the your complete sequence save all and then once you will run this after execution is completed whatever ticket id which we have provided here that ticket will be deleted permanently from your account so by this way we can delete the ticket as well so now we have completed if we want to download any files from inside the ticket we just have to drag and drop this activity and provide the folder name on which folder we want to save the file so i am giving here the folder name just i am clicking here and test okay. 
we can provide here folder name we have to provide uh, you can also copy and paste it to here from this cancel and you can enter here the detail in between double quotes sorry in between double quotes you can provide the folder location where you want to save the file and click on ok then you have to provide your ticket id where just write ticket number 4 but right now we don't have any attachment inside the ticket id 4 but if you have some attachment and you want to download it definitely you can go ahead with this and download the file by this way so for this also you have to save all your sequence and uh, click on run tab so once your execution is completed whatever file is available inside your account you can see the folder which we have provided here so by this way we can download all the files from our account so this is all about operation inside the ticketing system let's recap this where we started with the configuration part where you have to completely establish the connection or successfully establish the connection then we have checked with the packages third component will need the account detail or Chendisk account and then we have started with adding a ticket inside our account which is successfully added then we have jumped to the get ticket list from our login credential third we have updated the ticket and fourth we have deleted or so the deletion sequence how we can delete any ticket from our login credential and finally when we want to download any attachment from the ticket we can download it just providing the folder location where you want to save this and ticket id this is all about how to perform some operation on the ticketing system using your path inside the gendesk account hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video Consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you.